Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here today with another Mismatch Monday. This is uh, certainly a mismatch, just like last Monday's was. We're going to have the 2018 world champion Boston Red Sox, who won 108 games in 2018, Taking on the 1976 Montreal Expos, who only won 55 games and lost 107 in 1976. So the game will be in the Expos home stadium. Um, and, uh, and actually, this was the beginnings of what would go on to become a pretty good Expos team. But a lot of the guys were young. They were, you know, some of them, it was their rookie year. For instance, Gary Carter is in the game. Larry Parrish will be in the game. Uh, Ellis Valentine. Those guys were all pretty good players. And pitching for the uh, 76 Expos will be Steve Rogers, who, of course, was a very good pitcher for them. And even in 1976... He was 7-17, seven and 17, probably because the team was so bad, but he had a 321 earned run average. And so, again, if they're going to have any chance to compete with the 2018 world champion Red Sox, it's going to have to be because Rodgers pitches really, really well. Uh, this will be pitcher bat because we are in the Expos home stadium and they were um, in the National League and uh, pitcher bat in 1976. So... Um, David Price, who will be pitching for the Red Sox, will also be batting for the Red Sox. So, without uh, further ado, we'll get on with the game. Usual setup. Uh, you can see I have the uh, scores here, so you can look up at any time if you're looking away or if you're, what, you know, whatever, listening to it. You can look up and see where we are. This is the inning marker, so we'll mark where we are in the game. And I will do the lineups as I come to each team. The uh, lineup for the nineteen or the twenty eighteen Red Sox will be Andrew Benintendi leading off and playing left field. Steve Pierce will bat second and play first base. Mookie Betts will bat third and play right field. Rafael Devers will bat in the cleanup spot and he's at third base. Xander Bogarts will be the shortstop batting fifth. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be in center batting sixth. Ian Kinsler will bat seventh and be the second baseman. Sandy Leone will be the uh, uh, catcher and uh, batting eighth. And, of course, as I said, David Price, the pitcher, batting ninth. Um, interesting team. Uh, the, the 2018 Red Sox have a lot of ones. The entire outfield are ones. And uh, the second baseman, Ian Kinsler, is a 1E12. And the catcher is a 1E2, Sandy Leone. So there's a lot of ones. They're not going to get um, defensive uh, mistakes, probably, out of the Red Sox. And so with that, we will begin with Andrew Benintendi, the leadoff hitter, batting against Steve Rogers. And he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Benintendi, the first batter that Rogers faces, strikes out. Steve Pierce, the first baseman, he gets a 311, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he grounds out one to three. There's two down, and that brings up Mookie Bet. And Mookie Betts get the 37, and that will be a walk. So uh, Mookie Betts is aboard. With a walk. First man allowed on by Rogers. And Raphael Deva, the third baseman, is up and he gets a 2 5, which is a strikeout. So Rogers strikes out two of the three guys he faces. The Red Sox get no runs. We go to the bottom of the second in a 0 0 game. The lineup for the Expos will be Tim Foley leading off at shortstop. Mike Jorgensen will bat second and be the first baseman. Ellis Valentine will be in right field batting third. Del Unser is the center fielder. He'll bat cleanup. The fifth hitter will be Larry Parrish, the third baseman. P. 
Pete Mackinen will play left field and be uh, the sixth hitter. The seventh hitter is going to be, um, let's see, I got to write in the pitcher. I didn't write him in. Uh, the seventh hitter will be Wayne Garrett. He's at second base. Gary Carter is the catcher. He's batting eighth. And Steve Rogers picking up the rear, batting ninth. And so Tim Foley is leading off against David Price, who in 2018 was 16 and 7 with a 358 earned run average. And that is going to be a 110 against the lefty, and that is going to be a single. Tim Foley leads off with a hit. And he is a stealing C. So, I mean, this team is not a very fast team, so he'll stay right where he is. Mike Jorgensen is the batter. He gets a 1-6. That's going to be a line out to second base. There's one down. And the batter is Ellis Valentine. Ellis Valentine, great arm in right field at two. He's got a 2-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. That's the first strikeout for Price, and brings up Del Unser. So, the, yeah, the Montreal, the bugaboo here is that they have a terrible lineup. 4-2 is going to be a line out to second base. So the second baseman got two put outs on that. And uh, that inning, and we're going to the top of the second with Xander Bogarts, the shortstop for Boston, facing Steve Rogers. He gets a 6-4 batting right, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field. The center fielder is a 2-E-4, and that is a 17, so that's going to be a fly out. Bogarts flies out to center. One down, and Jackie Bradley Jr. up. He gets a 5-8, batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman's a 4-E-14. That is a 9. So we'll check that. That's going to be on the E-14. It's going to be on the air rating. 7 and a 14 is a ground ball. So he grounds out. Four to three. And Ian Kinsler is the batter. Or no, wait. Uh, yeah. All right, Ian Kinsler. And he gets a three five, and that is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3, and Boston goes 1-2-3 in the second inning. Now, if you recall, the last game I did last Monday was the 72 Rangers taking on the 1920 Indians, and the Indians barely won that game. I think it was, I think the score was like 2-1 to one or 3-1, to one, something like that, or 3-2. to two. So we'll see if the uh, Expos can do the same thing, hold, you know, hold steady, and then maybe in the end come back and win it. The, um, if you've been following this series, the underdog team doesn't usually win. It's, it's, it is rare. I think it's only happened maybe twice. So we'll have to see. Uh, Larry Parrish is the batter, though, here against Price. He gets a 5-8, batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. Pete Mackinen is the batter. He gets a 6-4, batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 3-E-12, and that is a 12, so we'll see what that is. That is going to be on the E-12. That's going to be the air rating. And that is a 10. And that's going to be a ground ball. So he goes out 6-3. Which brings up Wayne Garrett. And he gets a 2-3, which is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman.
and the Expos get no runs in the second. We go to the top of the third. We're moving right along here because nobody's getting on base. Nobody's really getting any hits. Nobody's getting any runs. Sandy Leone will be the batter here for Boston in the top of the third. He gets a 211, and that is going to be a single. Which is going to bring up the uh, the pitcher, David Price, and he will sacrifice And that is a 12. I don't like the looks of that. Uh, let's see here. Batter pops out into double play. Leading runner is out. Other runners hold. So there's two out. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> it didn't work. And uh, Andrew Benintendi, we're back to the top of the lineup with Andrew Benintendi. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a foul out to the catcher. So, Boston, Boston tried a sacrifice there, just a simple sacrifice with the pitcher, and it didn't work. And Gary Carter is the batter. Now, Gary Carter, this may have been his rookie year. I don't know. Leave it in the comments if you know for sure. But he only had 311 at-bats and hit 219. But he was still a good defensive catcher. Uh, he gets a 4-4 batting right. And uh, that's going to be a fly... Uh, wait a minute. A fly ball center field. And, of course... We have determined that he is a 1E7. That is a 7. And that is going to be an out. So Carter flies out to center. There's one down. And Steve, Steve Rogers is the batter. He gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a, a strikeout. Price with his second strikeout, and back to the top of the order with Tim Foley. He was singled last time. He was up 6-7, batting right. That's going to be a ground ball second. The second baseman is a 1-E12. That is a 5. I'm sure that's probably an out. And it is. So he goes out 4-3. And there are no runs for the Expos there. So we're going to the um, yeah, we're going to the, uh, the top of the fourth inning here with Boston sending Steve Pierce up to the plate. Both pitchers have been sharp so far, have been very good. And that is a 4-5 batting right. And uh, that's going to be a double. So Steve Pierce gets the first extra base hit of the game. Now, the last time they tried a sacrifice um, with a guy on base, and it didn't really work well for him. Uh, this is Mookie Betts, though. Uh, he is a, well, we're not going to, we're going to let him hit. He can't hit into a double play, so well, I mean he could, but 210, and that is going to be a pop. Wait a minute. Um, he is a righty. That is going to be a single. That is a one base single, so runners are at the corners. And Steve Rogers is in his first trouble here of the game here in the fourth inning with Rafael Devers up. He gets a 2 8. That's going to be a strikeout. So that was a key strikeout right there. I mean, Rogers needed that. 
he had to reach back and get what he could to try to get Devers to not advance any base runners. And Bogart is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball center field B, so that'll knock the run home from third. And that's the first run allowed in the game by either pitcher. And brings up um, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he gets a 6-3 batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. Unfortunately, the left fielder is a 5. He is a 5 E13, but that might still be an out. That is a roll of 20. No, it's a double. <laughs> it is a double. So it's a double two asterisk. So runners have to go stop at two bases. And um, Jackie Bradley Jr. with a double that advances bets over to third. And the Montreal defense comes, uh, comes back to haunt them a little bit. And Kinsler is the batter. And he gets a 1-3, which is going to be, for a righty, it's going to be a, say it's still going to be a single. So it's a one base single, and another run comes in. So all this damage is being done here with two outs and Sandy Leone the back. And he gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Rogers gets the key strikeout right there, but uh, two runs have scored. And we will go get the two for the Boston Red Sox. So the Red Sox are up 2 nothing, And Mike Jorgensen is the batter for Montreal here in the bottom of the fourth. And that is a 6-5 batting left. Um, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3-E-12. That is a 4. And that's going to be a single. So Mike Jorgensen gets a board with a hit. Second hit allowed by Price this game. Jorgensen aboard. Ellis Valentine. He gets a 5-5 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Third strikeout for David Price. Man aboard, one out. Del Unser. And Unser gets a 4-4, batting left. That's going to be a fly to center. He is a 1-E-7. That is a 9. And that's going to be on the E-7, the air rating. That is a 7. And that's going to be a fly ball B. Flies out to center, and Larry Parrish is the batter. You get the 312, and that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. So, no runs. Um, no runs come in from Montreal in the fourth. And we are heading to the top of the fifth. And the first batter will be David Price, the pitcher. Obviously pitching well enough that they would not take him out right now, 4-7. And uh, that's going to be a walk. So they walk David Price. Second walk issued by Rogers. There's a man aboard, and we're back to the top of the lineup with Benintendi. Benintendi 
get to two seven, which is a single double asterisk. And so now runners are at the corners. The Expos will play back and hope for the double play because really, um, two five, that is going to be a line out to shortstop. Pierce with a line out. One down, runners at the corners, Mookie back. He gets a 1-5. That is going to be a double. And scores another run. And that runner is David Price. With Ben Benintendi going over to third. Rafael Devers up. Devers not a great hitter this year. He gets a ground ball shortstop. That's two outs. And Bogarts is the hitter. And he gets a 1-4, which is going to be a line out to third base. But Boston does get, um, I've got one, I've got only one run there. So, but still, that's a, uh, that's a 3 nothing lead for Boston on a team that has uh, a very anemic offense. So it might be enough. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Pete Mackinnon is the batter for Montreal. Take the runners off the bases. That is a 211, and that will be a single right field. Mackinnon gets a board. Third hit allowed by Price. His Boston Red Sox lead three nothing here in the t in the bottom of the fifth. Wayne Garrett is the batter. He gets a five six batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. One away. Price striking out his fourth guy of the game. Gary Carter up. Gary Carter with a three ten. That is going to be. A single. Ballpark single for Gary Carter, which moves Mackinnon over to second. And that brings up Rodgers. They are going to pinch hit because they uh, runs are going to be hard to come by for this team. So they will pinch hit for Rodgers and end up taking him out of the game. And... Uh, They're going to pinch hit Andre Thornton. Now, Thornton in 1976 only hit 194, but he had a 323 on base percentage and 11 home runs in 268 at bats. So they're going to hope that Andre Thornton can come through here. In the sixth inning, or the fifth inning. But he gets a 5-9 batting right, and uh, that is actually, he does come through. He gets a double. So that will knock in one run. That scores Mackinnon. And Tim Foley is up top of the order. And he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball shortstop. There's two away. And that brings up Mike Jorgensen. And he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball second base. And he is out. But Montreal strikes for one of their own in the uh, in the fifth inning. So we have a three to one score now. 
with uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., the batter for Boston here in the top of the sixth. He gets a 1-9. Oh, wait, we got to change the pitcher. So, let's see. Um, Rogers only ends up going five innings. And they're going to bring on Dale Murray. Now, Dale Murray, interestingly, all relief, and he pitched 113 innings. So um, he'll come on for Rogers. And I think he was on some of the good uh, Montreal teams uh, in coming years, too. But anyway, 1-9 against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Bradley strikes out, Murray with the K. Ian Kinsler. Kinsler gets a 6-8 batting right, and that's going to be a single. Murray allowing his first hit to Ian Kinsler, the second baseman, with Sandy Leone. And that's a 6-7, and he is a switch hitter, so he would be batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball first base B, so it's a fielder's choice. Runner at first base. And Price is the batter. They'll let him hit. He is still pitching pretty well. And that is a 6-9. And that will be a ground ball to the second baseman. So Boston gets no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the score three to one Boston over the uh, the 2018 Boston Red Sox, leading three to one over the 1976 Expos. And Alice Valentine is up. He gets a three six. That will be a strikeout. So Valentine strikes out. He struck out all three times he's been up. So he has not been able to solve Price for for anything. Del Unser is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting left. That's going to be a pop out to first base. That's two down and brings up Larry Perry. And he gets a 2-6, and that will be a fly ball to right. We go to the top of the seventh. It's 3-1. to one. Pretty close game here. Andrew Benintendi against uh, Dale Murray, who's on for his second inning of work, relieving Steve Rogers. He gets a 2-8, and that's a ground ball to the second baseman. One out brings up Steve Pierce. He gets a 3-7. That is going to be a pop out to the shortstop. And Mookie Betts, who is two for two with a walk. And he has a double and a single as he turns. He gets a 5-6 batting right. And that's going to be a fly to right. That's the first time he got out. No runs come in for Boston. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Pete Mackinnon is the batter. We've still got David Price out there. That is a 1-2. It's a, going to be a foul out to first base. One down, and Wayne Garrett is the batter. And he gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. There's two away, and Gary Carter. And Gary Carter gets one 1-6, which is a walk. So Gary Carter is aboard with a walk. Bringing up the uh, pitcher spot 
And we will take Dale Murray out and pinch hit again for the uh, for the Expos in the pitcher spot. And the pinch hitter will be Bombo Rivera. And he gets a 5-8 batting right. And that is going to be an out. It's going to be a fly ball to center field. So no runs come in. We're going to the top of the eighth. We need a new pitcher for uh, the Expos because they pinch hit for Dale Murray. And he pitched two innings. And they were two very flawless innings. They only allowed a hit and struck out a guy. And they're going to bring in Wayne Granger. In 1976, Granger had a 366 earned run average in 32 innings pitched, in which he allowed 32 hits. And he'll try to hold this Boston lineup down to nothing because, I mean, it's only 3-1. to one. The Expos are still in this thing. Raphael Devers is the hitter. He gets a 2-7, and uh, that's going to be a fly ball center field. One down. So these, uh, you know what? These, these, uh, the favored team here so far this year in uh, our, our second year of Mismatch Monday have not done all that great. Not in comparison to what you would have think they would do. Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts gets a 5-7 batting right. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 4-E-14, and that is an 8. So let's see. It's gonna be on the E4, it's gonna be on the air right. And that's a six. And six is going to be a ground ball A. So that's going to be a four to three. Two down with Foley making the play. And, or not Foley. Um, with, uh, who is their second baseman? Garrett. Wayne Garrett making the play. And Bogart. And he gets a one six, which is going to be a double. So, um, or wait a minute, that was, yeah, that was Bradley Jr. Wait a minute, one six, no, wait, one six is, no, that's a fly ball center field. I had the wrong guy. So he flies out to center and that's the end of the inning. And um, we go to the bottom of the eighth with a three one score and Tim Foley is the batter for Montreal. Um, we're going to make a pitching change. We're going to take uh, Price out after seven. He pitches seven really good innings. And Boston will bring in um, they're going to bring in Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes in 2018 was six and four with a 365 earned run average. In 62 innings, he only allowed 47 hits. So Barnes will come in, and he is going to face Tim Foley, the top of the Montreal order. He gets a 3-4, and Barnes is a righty. That is going to be a, that's going to be an out. Um, that's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. One down, and Mike Jorgensen is the batter. He gets a 4-6 batting left. And that's going to be a walk. So Jorgensen's aboard. Montreal trying to start something here. 
and get themselves at least another run to pull within one, but two would be great in tying the game. Alex Valentine is a batter. He gets a 110, and uh, that's going to be a single. It's a ballpark single, so runners are at first and second with only one out. Barnes giving up his first hit. And Del Unser. Up. Del Unser gets a 1-9. That's going to be a strikeout, two away. First strikeout for Barnes. And with two on and two out, Larry Parrish is up. And that is a 6-7 batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman, who is a 1. He's a 1 E12. That is a 14, very likely an out. And it is. He goes out 4-3. We go to the bottom of the 8th. Um, Granger will stay out there. He pitched well in his first inning, so they're going to keep him out there in the top of the ninth. Kinsler the batter. He gets a 110, which is going to be a single. First hit allowed by Granger. Sandy Leone up. He gets a 2-6, which is going to be a line out to second base. With the pitcher spot up, Boston will pinch hit for the pitcher. And the pinch hitter will be the pinch hitter will be Eduardo Nunez. With one on and I've got one out. He gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a ground ball, shortstop, double play. And that's the end of the inning. The new pitcher for Boston will be Craig Kimbrell. Craig Kimbrell in 2018 was 5 and 1 with a 274 earned run average allowing 31 hits in 62 innings. So that's what uh, Montreal has to face here in the bottom of the ninth trying to get two runs to tie the game at least with Mackin in the back. And he gets a 2-8 which is going to be a strikeout. So Kimbrell strikes up the first guy that he faces, which brings up Wayne Garrett. Wayne Garrett with a 211 is going to get a that's going to be a single. Ballpark single for Wayne Garrett, which brings up Gary Carter. And he gets a 1-2, which is a ballpark home run. Is it? Is it? It isn't. <laughs> it's a fly ball right field. So two away. <laughs> two away is Gary Carter. The ballpark kept that one inside, and now they're going to be another pinch hitter for Montreal in the pitcher spot. And... Uh, the pinch hitter will be the pinch hitter will be Jose Morales. Yes, Jose Morales, who in twenty in nineteen seventy six hit three sixteen with four home runs, but really they just want him to get it get on base somehow and keep this thing alive. That is a four nine for a righty which will be a walk. 
And so he does do his job. He gets a walk and brings it back to the top of the order. And Tim Foley, who now had with the Expos have two on with two down, and Tim Foley, and he gets a six nine batting right. And then it's going to be a strikeout, and that'll end the game. The Expos cannot complete the comeback, and they lose the game by the score of three to one. Another very close game here in Mismatch Monday, and that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.